U.S. diplomat Antony Blinken delivered a powerful message Tuesday evening, playing his guitar and singing Rocking in the Free World with a Ukrainian band in an underground bar. Before the song, Blinken said this. The United States is with you. So much of the world is with you. And they're fighting, not just for free Ukraine, but for the free world. And the free world is with you too. Blinken's visit came as Russia carried out a series of airstrikes on Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv, in the northeastern part of the country, hitting a residential building and injuring at least 17 people. Russian troops have advanced in recent weeks, taking advantage of Ukraine's shortage of troops and artillery shells. The visit is Blinken's first to Ukraine since Congress passed a long-delayed $61 billion aid package. Blinken reassured Ukrainians that help is on the way. We're going to help you hold off Russia's attacks, make it harder for them to strike you, and keep the Black Sea open so you can keep growing your economy and keep helping to feed the world. We know that time is of the essence. That's why, just one minute after Congress approved our massive aid package, President Biden sent ammunition, armored vehicles, missiles, and air defenses to Ukraine. One expert told VOA that Russia appears to have the upper hand in the war right now. They have a lot of political momentum right now because of the recent re-inauguration of, of Vladimir Putin, because of Victory Day, and really knowing that there is a moment of opportunity for Russia right now in May and in June to do something to push back the lines and kind of change the reality on the ground. Another expert agreed, but says it is also important to note that Russia is nowhere near winning the war against Ukraine. But Russia is as far from victory, whatever that might mean for Russia, uh, as it was six months ago, as it was a year ago, uh, as it was two years ago. Earlier, Blinken also ate pizza with his Ukrainian counterpart in a restaurant founded by a war veteran. Cindy Sane, VOA News.